Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another awesome reading, Capricorn, and I hope you guys are well. We have a few oracles here. We're going to put the remainder of the cards. We have a few more to put down here, uh, and we're going to do the remainder of the reading spontaneous. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. if you guys want a psychic reading, they are accurate. You can get one, uh, and you can uh, also, you know, I always recommend the combo. You get the tarot spread. It's separate. It's after the psychic reading, and uh, they both offer their own unique insight. A lot of cool destiny forecasts, the love compatibility readings. They're both based on astrology and numerology. Yeah, get it for your birthday. Very cool. Uh, get it now so you can uh, you can see just how cool things are going, right? Or you can all sometimes you see a little bit of challenge, and you go, well, I have a heads up now, so I'm just going to be a little bit. Uh, a little bit more kind of, maybe it's a little more careful or something. You're definitely not going to get scared. Uh, knowledge is awareness. Um, teaching tarot. Go to my website. If you want to have an emotion code session, I release trapped emotions. It's very, I uh, can do be done by distance. It's based on the subconscious mind. Uh, it's energy healing. It's not gentle and non-invasive. Yes, it is. And I don't need to know about all the reasons why you have that particular emotion. The point is we let it go. Aches and pains can go away and feeling lighter and happier. And yeah, it's really cool. So let's see Capricorn. We have uh, awakening and consciousness. We have the chariot here. This is assertion, the victory and the door to value. Yeah. Wow. If you guys want to get a free five minute psychic reading with mystic sense, that link is below, right? Everything's below you guys. So the chariot is here. We have awakening and consciousness. Somebody woke up and now they are asserting themselves for a victory that they want. And the door to values with it. So maybe they see, you know, it'll, it won't cost them too much, said the Capricorn, right? It'll be a real value here. No, value is, uh, it has little to do with the price, uh, really. It is, you could see it like that, but... It's really, are you getting value? So, right, when you're selling something, you're always selling the value to it. Somebody sees a uh, beautiful value with you. Yeah, they do. Let's see what else we have for Capricorn. And um, mm -hmm. this may be you, the head, the, the uh, this is your reading. The applause, wow. And we have the point. So somebody has a headache about ending something and they are at the point to do it. They're at the point to end something because applause is an ending. Yeah. Unless you guys are both actors and actresses. All right. And you know, and the head is a headache over a decision. Somebody's at the point to really do this. Wow. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. so let's see what we have Capricorn and we will use these cards. They haven't been used today. No. Let me straighten this camera out. The towers at the bottom of the deck and as is the magician and judgment. Look at that. <laughs> and the empress. <laughs> it's a big reading, right? And so there's a rebirth here, but there's some type of tower with this applause card. Uh, and part of that tower is this awakening over here, a powerful realization, right? Um, the magician is to uh, clearly, you know, somebody has the power to manifest this. And the empress is most likely you Capricorn, or it is somebody who is loved. There could be a lot of passion for sure. Uh, this is a very nurturing energy as well. And now we have the wheel of fortune, the 10 of cups, the page of swords and the pay and the, the page of swords and pentacles. We have another major here, the hierophant. Okay. So here you are Capricorn. You're in the page of swords. This is why it's all happening. Somebody's wondering if they're going to have their happily ever after in this reading. It could be the other person. It's possible. We're going to have an extended today, right? It could be them. 
because you know these readings can be switched the page of pentacles is in the past this is where somebody saw the value see the nine of cups is with it they saw that you were their wish or you saw this capricorn and uh maybe you know there's could be a lot of people here the king of wands is here uh, could be you know a fire sign maybe you're cusping on that venus is uh taurus is and libra both is the empress we have judgment which can be scorpio aries is the magician the tower is scorpio wheel of fortune over here lots of folks right and then the hierophant again i don't know if i said they are taurus uh, but your mindset here is the hierophant and the knight of swords you want this assertion that's what the chariot is about so you have either awakened here and you are asserting yourself in another relationship or you're waiting for somebody to come do this. OMG. It's always about major love here. It, it is. The Seven of Cups with the King of Pentacles. So one of you is making a, a choice here. When we see the tower over here, it hasn't been an easy choice. No, it hasn't. And uh, the concern here is the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Let me straighten this one. Sorry, guys. So, you know, the sixes are responsibilities. It can be priorities. Uh, but we see here <coughs> somebody wants a give and take and somebody wants to transition out of something with the six of swords. Like, I'm not happy where I'm at. I need change. I need to go where I'm happier. And I feel like you might be wondering this. This is somebody's, this is your, your happily ever after Capricorn This in this reading with no doubt seven of pentacles knight of wands in your environment <coughs> so here we are <coughs> excuse me you're wondering if they're going to take action or you are basically you could be thinking about your money possibly uh, or maybe thinking about their money and that has something to do with them taking action. But there's a lot of contemplation here. The Knight, Page of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and here's the Seven of Cups. They're all about, uh, you know, discernment or like, you know, contemplation. The Seven of Cups is choosing from that contemplation. And now we have the Devil, Capricorn. And, you know, that may be you, but definitely could be in your reading here. Uh, but I feel like this is making you feel maybe a little stuck here. But look at these cards. They're mostly all great cards. Yeah, they're mostly. I mean, we know something's going on here with the tower for sure. And this awakening in consciousness. You're just wondering if this person will take... If you're waiting for them, you're wondering, are they ever going to take action? Seven of Pentacles. He's looking, am I going to harvest this? Can I reap this harvest? Can I have this? right? Maybe will they invest seven of pentacles? But definitely, uh, you know, it's what's going to happen seven of pentacles with this potential harvest. And uh, because this is something beautiful. So I can see you're, you know, wondering here, right? Now, here you are wondering if they're going to take action. It's probably making you feel stuck with the devil here. Here's a three of pentacles in your environment, Capricorn. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is really beautiful. Now we have the Eight of Swords. I said you feel stuck. You want something to go away here. This Three of Pentacles reverse. Something that doesn't work. Something that's non-functional. It could be their relationship. It could be. It could be maybe one that you're in. Maybe you want this person to... Because the Three of Pentacles reverse typ typically talks about collaboration, but... It can also talk about dysfunction because these people are working together. And in the reverse, it could be a dysfunction. And here it is with the Eight of Swords. And the Six of Swords here implies that there is dysfunction because why would he want to go? Or something unhappy here. The King of Wands is your desire. Maybe they're a fire sign, you know, but maybe you want them to act like the King of Wands with this kind of, you know, let me take control of my life here and live by passion and inspiration because the six of swords, the eight of swords and the devil here, that's not passion or inspiration, right? No, it's not. So now we have the four of cups. 
Yeah, you want this person to definitely, you're either rejecting somebody here or you're like finished in some type of situation and you want to move on or you're hoping they are. And it looks like you're waiting for them. That's really kind of how, uh, how it looks here. And that is in uh, your outcome. Yeah, this is a trip here. Let's go ahead and look at their cards, uh, their oracle for the extended. Let's see what it says here for Capricorn's person. And we have the disciple and the marker and the eater. Okay, so the disciple is like a student. I, I'm learning or I've learned. I've learned lessons, right? I've, you know, I've gained discipline, right? When we see the disciple, the disciples, uh, in the Bible, they are, you know, they have typically learned, I believe they have. Uh, and so I don't know all the exact, right. But I know that the, a disciple is about somebody who either has learned or somebody who wants to teach something to somebody basically, or go by some type of a, of like kind of a good lifestyle. Now I want to follow this, the disciple, right? My disciples, are you guys my disciples? Just kidding. Uh, but you know, this, this person wants to follow some type of a new life here. And they have learned the disciple, the marker crosses them. It challenges them. But the marker is, I really know what I want, but what am I going to do now? I place the marker. It's like a label. It's like, I know what this is exactly. I'm not, I'm not thinking about it anymore. This is your person's energy. It challenges them because there's somebody else here or there's some other situation. Maybe it is their own belief systems, possibly. Here's the Hierophant, right? With the Knight of Swords, possibly. Now, here's the Eater, why it's all happening. This person is completely like, the Eater can say that, I feel like this person like really finds you as an Empress or something, somebody very indulging. Like this is beautiful and passionate. Yeah. These two people are happy together on the, with the chariot card. This is asserting like and taking what I want in my life or reaching for it, speaking up. And here's the eater. The eater is, they can find you that way. And this can also be like they, you know, in their life, this person didn't, they didn't do this in the past. They didn't ask for what they really wanted and they settled. There's some type of settling that was going on here. Because the six of swords is I, I want out of here. The three of pentacles reversed. So these are like disappointing, right? I want to transition out here. This is disappointment. So this person here finds you Capricorn as the very, you know, passionate or indulgent. Like this is wonderful. I'm going to get my wish, my empress, my nine of cups. And you know, the 10 of cups is here, etc. But they've been, I feel like they've been kind of cheating themselves because the marker challenges them. It's almost like this awakening here. Like, well, I've awakened to what I want now. Now, what am I going to do? So we're going to see what they're going to do in the extended. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. And that will be for the members. Yeah, it will. Yeah, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, you guys by now probably know you have to look for me. I feel like you probably do. And, um, yeah, and, uh. Yeah, go to my website, Mystic Gem, M-Y-S-T-I-K-G-E-M. There's so many cool, cool services there. Fun, enlightening, uh, can really help, you know, the emotion code can really help people uh, just like quickly, yeah, feel better uh, in their life, right, about many things. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for joining me.